Hello everyone, and this is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to conduct a tensile test of aluminium material. Um, so this aluminium specimen is already uh, tested in lab, lab, and now I want to conduct a, a simulation of this. Now you can see how it works, and then you can compare the result with the uh, uh, obtained result from the experiment. Um, the test uh, specimen is about 12 uh, centimeters high to 120 and the diameter is 6 millimeters here and 12 meter millimeters in the loading area. It is depending into the uh, which could you use and which specimen is required for the test. So you can uh, model based on that. So the modeling is you can use uh, solid and use uh, revolve or revolution uh, and then create so i have already did this and i'm going to see here the dimension after you created one side and one side so this is the height of these parts and this is the uh, smooth area and this is the dimension of, of this area this is the half of the height and totally 120 so then we allowed say okay and uh, revolve by 360 degrees okay now next we go to the material and defining the material so the material is used uh, steel uh, aluminium so the first thing is so this is a ductile material so for the for this simulation you have to provide some sort of uh, ductile damage or shear damage as well so first you have to give density because we want to conduct a dynamic analysis this is the density of the material I will put this data and this material and this model in the description you can uh, download and uh, conduct the analysis and see and compare with my result and then the elastic this is the elastic 70 thousand mil pascal and this is the plasticity uh, this is the plasticity we also considering the uh, rate you can uh, let's let me uh, create uh, here create a x y data and you can see the graph and I'm called uh, stress strain curve and we're okay and I can come to uh, Come to here, then I will show you the stress ring curve. So the next, uh, we want to use some sort of damage. So we use tactile damage, and you can come to uh, mechanical properties, and here's called tactile damage. Tactile uh, damage, and after that you will define this damage uh, evaluation. So they need a fracture strain, uh, stress strain. Uh, triaxiality and also some rate you can consider some uh, a small number uh, so this what's actually stress triaxiality and fracture strain uh, so this is the elastic and plastic city of the material for this to understand uh, stress uh, the fracture strain and stress triaxiality you should take uh, elastic and plastic subject mostly uh, we have learned in master degree so you should learn and you can get how you can calculate from a tensile of this, this properties and also here is the damage uh, the damage evaluation so we have two two type of damage one is energy which the energy is concentrated to the specific area we calculate based on that energy and also we can consider based on the displacement this 0.2 millimeter in the failure area in case the failure area is reached to that 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 uh, that uh, the damage to 0 0.1 milli so it should uh, uh, fail or should uh, go to start the damage and now we also can add some other parameters meters you can go to the here uh, in the damage we have different kind of damage so one of them is this one uh, in the MSF LD damage 
uh, you will define these parameters major principal strain minor principal strain plastic width so what's actually this msfld damage you can check here and this is the abbreviation of the msfld uh, damage and you can uh, read the damage called due to bending deformation cannot be evaluated using this model in case during the damage during the bending deformation the damage is happening so you can use this one uh, so the, the parameter is uh, just these three parameters and also one uh, damage evaluation which is using the same properties which previous divide and also we have shear damage so we can consider ductile damage MSL, msf ld damage shear damage you can consider one is enough or two is enough three is enough but uh, for the simulation you should uh, uh, con use this utilize this this data this this sort of damage to get a better result now then the shear damage we also have fracture strain uh, shear strain issue strain rate uh, the calculation is uh, a little difficult and it's taking time uh, if i used uh, the equation to calculate this so it's totally take about hours so we need this and the same uh, damage evaluation is also considered here and so this is the material you know, okay and we create a uh, solid elements uh, and you can see solid elements using the material aluminium and then we assign this to the uh, specimen and the specimen is added so the next we go to the uh, assembly we're going to import the assembly here and then we want to create some reference point see we're going to adding one reference point in the top in the lo in the location which we want to uh, pull the, the specimen and we go to the step uh, we want to uh, use uh, two methods one is uh, using uh, dynamic with very short time period and the second is we're using uh, mass scaling factor so in the first one is we want to consider the, um, the 0 0.3 second so very short and we're not considering anything else just okay and uh, here we can define some uh, some reference point and then we want to create a node load displacement here and then we want to apply load here so we go to the uh, output in the output here is uh, we can consider some energy dissipation during the pulling this element and sometimes do need it okay so delete that one because it takes on so much time in case if you need mostly we need uh, such as the uh, energy dissipated during the uh plastic pause plastic uh, region and also during the fracture uh, as well so now we're creating a displacement in this point and we giving entry wall 200 and selecting uh ref2 and displacement u2 okay now we go to the interaction and just we need to create one interaction here and we can use a coupling taking this point and uh, couple to this area uh, next we go to the loading and we want to create uh, one displacement here uh, fixed space and I can go to initial here this is fixed in cursor and the second one is the top one here just we uh, in the initial we fixed everything and but we modified in that one which we pulling out about 10 millimeter in u2 uh, so the loading is also completed we're going to mesh we can come to here and create the mesh one so i use the uh, four you can use uh larger let me use uh make it faster 10 millimeter and in the mesh you also should uh, select here 
and define the uh, type of the elements explicit and you can also activate the element deletion you can come to here you can use element deletion yes now uh, we finish the mission and we want to go to the job in the job I want to call it uh, tensile test or I can call it aluminium tensile test uh, we have we can increase the number of uh, CPUs in the case if you have using a multi processor so let's be more faster I have submitted the job and I'm going to monitor it and now it's running and there is not any error till now uh, so it will take some time to finish uh, analysis uh, almost completed but <clears throat> I have given a very large displacement so if I need to finish it will be more information so in this uh, about let me also continue and here is uh, the uh, damage has happened and you can go to see a uh, animation So in the center or in the middle of this this basement it became first nicking and then uh, damaged. Now uh, we can go to create uh, that. Yeah, here in the previous I have defined the uh, stress strain and this is the stress strain because it's uh, repeated. So you will get this one. Uh, now I'm going to uh, create the output uh, displacement and force curve. So this is the displacement uh, uh, force curve. For the first it will go to the up to reach to uh, yield and then go to gain back and then go to ultimate. And finally nicking and it will be a failure. So until this area we can uh, uh, check uh, or draw the curve and we can go to here <coughs> uh, operate and we want to use uh, combine and displacement and uh, <coughs> displacement and force save it and I can call FD curve so when we define FD curve and then we, we know how to calculate the area and we want to def uh, divide it by the the force divided by the area so now we will get the stress strain curve uh, now I can call plot and here is so I want to make some edit so this large uh, displacement is 10 milli to when it's almost reached 10 milli so we are not interesting in this large area so but we want to take it to this yeah, five milli and now i can go to the this data selecting this data so and i'm going to give the maximum is five milli in this region. and the actual force is okay So linear node moving to five, and this five is okay for us, and we don't interest it too large. Now, uh, so this is the curve which we created. Uh, but uh, if I go to back to the monitor, and you can see monitor, it take about hours. So we submit it. Uh, on this uh, time about 11 10 and we stopped uh, 
almost about one hour. Stopped. If it's completed, you will see the submitted time and also the finished time, completed time. Uh, so now there is one thing I want to uh, discuss. That's called mass scaling. Uh, so we go back to there and make a copy of the model. And the model we call it, call it called uh, mass scaling. So mass scaling is actually uh, in the step. In the step we created a uh, time equal to one second. So in the previous was 0 0.03 second. And now we want to uh, increase the time period. But we want to uh, complete the model fast, the analysis fast. So we use uh, mass scaling factor. So what's mass scaling factor? We add some more uh, masses, uh, physical masses or virtual masses to the, uh, to the analysis. Uh, then uh, that can increase the analysis time, analysis speed, but it will reduce the uh, analysis duration. So it will take the uh, when the time period is equal one. So we increase that mass, that mass which existed 50 times, and now when we increasing the mass, so the analysis will complete it faster. Even the time period is larger, and um, you can play with this in case if you have a large, uh, <coughs> uh, a very large time. So you can use this mass uh, scaling factor and uh, complete the analysis. Uh, you can go to again the job, and this time you can create called uh, mass scaling. Uh, in the mass scaling, you can use this mass scaling and the same method and you can submit it. Uh, so uh, then you can compare the results uh, with this. Uh, so both results are same. But that mass scaling can uh, increase the speed of analysis. Uh, so uh, I will put the link of this uh, model and this material you can download and use in your uh, computer to see how it works. Uh, so this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put it in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.